Hey guys, welcome back to Enjoy Spoonful. My name is Evald, and today we'll be talking how to make rice dish or something that yeah I came up when I was a student. So yeah, let's have a look. So yeah, so as you heard from the beginning, we'll be talking rice. Um, so yeah, well, I'm not I kind of lied. I didn't really make the recipe. Kind of my mom helped me with it. Uh, so when I moved to Paris, she came first few first few days to help me install there. And I didn't know how much to cook back in the day, so she showed me a few like basic recipes um, that I needed to know to feed myself because I'll be living by myself and like I had a little kitchenette to help me out. So yeah, I was not cooking a lot back in the days, and look at me now, like I am have a YouTube channel with cooking. Haha, <laughs> but how things change. So yeah, so the recipe that is I am going to show you today is pretty easy, and you can always get adjust as well as you want. So it's perfect for students, or if you have a like a low budget week, or you just want to have something different in your on your dinner or your, on your lunch. So it's going to be rice with cream and chicken. If you, but again, make it as you want. So let's start. Uh, first of all, you have to chop some onions. I'll go for quite a lot of them. Um, if you remember, I did an episode about, about risotto, and so if it kind of works in the same way, so so just check the link here. Uh, so what was I? Yeah, after done chopping with onions, you can cut some garlic as well, and some mushrooms. If you want, you can also add celery, celery there. It's up to your preference. I won't go with any celery. Then uh, get your chicken and chop it in little cubes, and then you're ready to go to the stove. P is going to be a one-pot recipe, so it helps you with cleaning because you don't have to clean that much in the end. So what you have to do is just get your pot, put it on the stove, and start heating it up. Start heating it up with the oil. Then add your onions there. So start cooking them until they soften up and become translucent. Then you can add your chicken and your garlic. We add garlic later because, as I said in previous videos, we don't want to burn it. So as soon as chicken is getting a bit more colors on it, you can add your mushrooms, mix it well, start frying it a bit more. And when you're done with that... You can, if you want, and if you have, you don't have to go for it though, you can add a bit of wine. I prefer preferably white wine to that. And like any dry white wine would work, to be honest. So like yeah, if you want to, you, you can. If you don't have, you don't want to, you don't have to go for that as well. So it's almost like a risotto in a way. So you can just wait till the wine cooks down, and then start adding your water. For this case, you don't need any stock. You can just put, you can just boil some water in a kettle, and adding it there. So again, it's like all in the same pot. So just keep adding water till the rice is cooked. When the rice is almost cooked to your preference, you can add some cream. You add cream there roughly 150 to 200 milliliters, stir it well, leave it to rest for a bit, like with risotto, and then you can serve it. And so in the end, yeah, it's a nice little hearty dish, mm, also very nice and hugging, like some other, other hugging recipes I made, just click the link here. And the good thing about this recipe, you can make like a big batch in advance, Eat one portion right, on your one night, put it in the fridge, and heat up the next day. So yeah, have fun guys, enjoy this recipe. If you, liked, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.